Michelle Pollock's journey to Lost Lake Studio, located in eastern Brown County, was not a direct one. When I was young and deciding what to do going to college, it was either going to be the engineering degree at Purdue or I was going to get an English degree. She went the engineering route and, following graduation, found herself in Minnesota working for 3M. Decided pretty quickly that wasn't what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So, during her 10 years in the corporate world, Michelle pursued other interests. She went back to school and got a master's degree in poetry. She also rediscovered her love of visual arts. So then at that time I was doing collages and stitching and I was hand binding a book and I had one of those actual like Eureka aha moments. I was sewing the book together, you sew them together by hand, and I realized that I was sewing in paper and I started hand sewing in some of my collages and one day I stuck one through the sewing machine and one thing led to another and now that's what I mostly do is sew in the sewing machine and paper. The main medium I work in I sort of made up. I like to consider it drawing with the sewing machine. I outline the pieces, I add texture, I add lines. Um, so it's like applique quilting but in paper or it's like collage with sewing. A lot of it is based on photographs. I walk every day in the woods. I photograph what I see. I use those to make patterns for my work. And then um, I write based on what I see. I don't really fit in one medium. Um, and I think those places where two things come together, uh, I think there's just interesting things to explore. And that willingness to explore didn't stop with paper quilting. I started making the paper sculptures after I took a pop-up book class. So I uh, enjoyed a lot um, the pop-up books and I enjoyed the idea of making the three-dimensional um, images, but it was pretty restrictive. You can't put extra things in it. They have to fold flat when you're done. And I had the idea, well, if I stick these into a shadow box frame, then I can put anything I want in them. So they're inspired by pop-up books, but now, of course, I've gone beyond what you could put into a pop-up book. I sew the pieces together to get the dimensionality and the texture. I layer up the pieces and I can make them as three-dimensional as I like. Michelle also makes functional art. So I like to think of my uh, journals and my bookmarks and my note cards as like artwork that people get to touch and use every day. When people are reading or when people are journaling, they get to touch and use the things I make um, over and over again. At the end of the day, they're all opportunities for Michelle to further explore a medium she's grown to love. I love the variety of paper. I love that um, it's easy to work with. I mean, it's one of the first art supplies you give a kid. I mean, it's pretty easy to work with. I collect paper the way quilters collect fabric. So I have a stash of paper, probably multiple lifetimes worth of paper. It's like a treasure hunt every time I'm making something to find the right piece and the right texture and color to fit the spot I'm working on. And along with a medium and a career, Michelle's found a community to love as well. I'm a pretty social person, a pretty uh, extroverted person that likes to be around other people, especially other people who are doing these kinds of creative work. So Brown County is a wonderful place to live for that. There's a fantastic community of artists that I tapped into almost immediately when I moved here. So for me, that's probably my biggest source of inspiration.